brothers and sisters, I want you to know that I have never done anything like this before, and I am very humbled that you would ask for my testimony. I've always known about God. I was raised going to church three times a week, VBS, revivals, and church camp. My great-grandfather was a preacher, and my brother-in-law is a preacher. My dad was an elder, and my mother taught Sunday school for over 30 years. But my life was confused. I felt like my dad didn't love me and that I was always treated differently by him than my siblings. Then when I was 14, my mother told me about my real father. He was killed in a workplace accident when I was three months old. This explained my family dynamics. Then I created a new family dy dynamic. I put on Christ in baptism in 1966 and believed that God would always be with me and that I could face life's problems with his help. The same way the word says in Mark 16:16, 16, 16, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be condemned. And in Romans 6, 4, we were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. That's when I started a new direction in life. Just because a new direction is taken, it doesn't mean always making the right choices. Like so many other young women who are trying to escape and trying to create something better, we don't always succeed. However, my family life continued to be stressful. Looking back, I know that Dad was doing the best he knew how, and I was immature. I got married at 18 because I thought that would be an escape and a chance to be loved totally. This proved to be a very poor decision. God's Word tells us in Matthew 6:15, But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. And in Matthew 18, 21 through 22, then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. So I forgave my former husband. The next hurdle that goes with forgiveness is trusting. I would like to say that I have made progress in this area. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. In John 3.30, he must become greater, I must become less. Even though I was crossing what seemed at the time to be a bottomless situation, the Lord found a way to prosper me, provide for me, and grow me. During this time of aloneness and emptiness, I had to live with the choices I had made. The Lord grew me and honored me to where I was the high school principal for 18 years. At that time, there was only one other female high school principal in the state of Arkansas. During those years, he matured and seasoned me and gave me supernatural strength and reasoning to deal with the pressure of being a high school principal. I dealt with every issue you can imagine that affects the homes in your community. There are many other events in my life which I had to deal with, but I'm here to say that the number one thing that allowed God to grow me to where I am today was that I had to be a woman of repentance first and forgiveness second. What I learned was that my God is faithful. Sorry. He not only helped me get through a situation, where a man had made poor choices, but he helped me understand that forgiveness is just as important as repentance. I learned that I could not be clean and move on with my life until I forgave others. God is faithful and just. He loved me enough to carry my burden and he helped taught me how to give it to him. Ladies, this was one of the hardest lessons I ever learned, and I am still learning. The weight of the world equals the sin of the world. You can carry as much of it as you want or be free of as much of it as you want. Sorry. The first major hurdle I had to get over was remembering the past. 
when I learned to forgive and forget, then I could move on. I also had to have the willingness to be changed. You know, ladies, the Proverbs 31 woman wasn't born that way. She became that way as she lived her life. She apparently had a good husband because he was respected in the city gate. She was a woman who would receive guidance and take advantage of opportunities. The issue is not where you start or what choices others make, but it's what you choose to do with what life gives you. In Psalm 55, 22, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. God truly blessed me when Sid and I met. Sid has proven to be the Christian man I had always wanted and needed. He has taught me to be so much more dedicated to Christ and to put more of Jesus in my daily life. I've got a long way to go and a lot to learn in my Christian journey. But with God's help, I believe that I am on my way to becoming a better and more complete Christian. With the guidance of Sid and the faithful brethren here at the Word of Truth, I know that I am on my way to heaven. John 6, 47, very truly I tell you, the one who believes has eternal life. Thank you.